Good morning, everyone. We're in Iceland today. I just got a text from Ingo from Arctic Surfers, who is gonna be my surf guide, my time here, that there is a swell coming next week on Monday. Today is Thursday, so in a few days. Check this out. It's gonna be kind of windy and rainy Saturday and Sunday. But on Monday, we're looking potentially to four to six feet overhead, hopefully offshore winds. So swell is going to be epic in the next few days. So until then, I'm going to take you guys along some Iceland adventures that has nothing to do with the ocean and surface. Today, we're going to go glacier piking. We're here at the glacier tour. So 8% of Iceland is this glacier, but there's 13% total glacier in Iceland, right? Did yeah. I explain that right? Kind of. Kind of. So apparently, the glacier used to extend all the way to that part of the lake, but because of global warming, it's now all the way there. Oh, what's this place called? It's go what? okay. So we're at Fat Little Yogurt. Battle Yogurt. Battle Yogurt Glacier. We're now at the middle point of the glacier, and he said oh, that we can actually drink the water because it's purified. Show us if you're really an athlete. I want to see the sips low to the ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Yes, the form is impeccable. Can I try? Yeah! <laughs> Refreshing. Your turn! I took off his shirt. Okay! Look at those muscles. Whoa! I'm gonna say, you should put this on your like Tinder profile. <laughs> POV, you're the ice. <laughs> We got the helmets. We're trying to go caving for the first time. We are doing it alone. There's absolutely no one out. And it's raining profusely. There's around a 150 meter walk we have to get to to the entrance. And it's really cold. Are you this sure? Way? This, way. this way. Yeah, this way straight, yeah. It's not that windy in here. Oh, guys, really what are we actually doing in here? <laughs> guys, um, we're playing a game. Who can hit their head the most on the cave gets to buy drinks for everyone. Our guide. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna be honest. When I said I went caving before, it was like a, it was like a tourist attraction. We are absolutely the only people in this cave, except the person in the tent. Bruh. We're now kind of trying to crouch down so we can get to this other spot. Oh, well, I'm hit too. Ah! On a scale of one to ten, this is kind of seven out of ten freaky. Okay, it's getting less scary. What did you guys find? You guys found a skeleton? We found a sheep skeleton guy. Right over there. How did the sheep even end up here? Okay, so we're now crawling through the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, how about you do it? <laughs> we're not bitches. <laughs> yeah, it's clean. Fuck. Six. Fuck. We see the exit. Woohoo! We made it, high five! Good job! We made it! Is everyone's pants soaked? Yes. No. Yeah. Hey! Look at Zane's pants! Are they ripped? <laughs> it's the night before we're planning to surf and Currently, the weather just keeps changing. Um, every time I check the forecast, it says it's either going to be super windy onshore, and then now it's saying it's going to be offshore winds, and it's going to be good. So I actually have no idea what to expect for tomorrow, and I guess that's the nature of surfing here in Iceland. It's really normal for the weather to change. <laughs> 
in like a few hours um and there's really nowhere to predict it so also there's not even like a surf line camera like even if i wanted to look at the waves to see it before i went there there's really no way to check tomorrow we're gonna wake up at 8 30 a.m meet um our surf guide and hopefully we'll be able to score some waves it's not guaranteed and it's getting a little nerve-wracking because tomorrow's our last day here in iceland and then it's like the only opportunity to really surf i hope that the weather turns out all right i also am hiring like a filmer and putting a lot of energy into bringing my boyfriend as well but the reason why i'm recording this in the first place is because i feel like it's so easy to look at a cool surf clip and be like dang why am i not scoring these waves when in reality it's actually really hard to a find good conditions and b surf well so there's a lot of things going on i hope tomorrow's good i'm really praying like this video if you're so far enjoying this journey good morning everybody so it's september 2nd at 8 a.m we're about to get ready to go surfing i'm so excited because i get to go surfing in iceland um i'm not really sure how the waves look i think let's just actually check surf line it's not gonna obviously be accurate but oh i just got a text from our surf guide it says something the wind will not turn down and then later turn off here until 12 noon i think we should delay our meetup I fear that the strong onshore winds will not drop and turn until 3 p.m. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Bad news. Mm. So, the weather has changed again. <laughs> he says he thinks that the wind will be not fun for you until noon. And he thinks that we should start later and stay later. Really windy. And also, like, if you look at, like, the wind does die down. Like, if you look at surf line. Like, look, right now, super windy, 20 onshore. That's so windy. And then, then like, an afternoon, 8 onshore. So, like, if we get there at 12, it'll be fun for you. But I think anything okay. earlier, it's going to just be miserable. So it's what time cold. should we get to the guy? Like, 10.30? Yeah, like, 11, 10.30. I think so. <laughs> I'm losing hope that we're going to surf. <laughs> yes, we can, we can get through on our hike. We're deciding to spend the day, have some breakfast before we surf, because we have a few hours to kill. If you guys know me, I always eat ketchup and Tabasco with my boots. She says, I'm skinny! Breakfast was absolutely fantabulous. How was breakfast? Good! So now we're going to the surf guide, Arctic Surfers, and he's gonna get us our equipment or wetsuits and board. I'm really nervous and excited but apparently at around 3 p.m it's gonna be nice and offshore winds right now it's 11 30 so we're gonna surf with my boyfriend first at a more easier beach break and then when the weather and wind goes down we're gonna go to the point break the waves are kind of bigger and if you know me um sometimes i cry when the waves are too big so hopefully i don't cry how many waves are you gonna get today babe 10. so how is the surf report looking like Looks pretty good. Like uh, I told you over the last couple of days, it's all hit and miss here. We'll have to kind of follow the weather, but I think we made the right choice by waiting, and then, yeah, it looks good. We have uh, one of our favorite point breaks going on today, and the wind is turning, and the swell is definitely here. How uh, cold is the water right now, you think? It's about 10 degrees Celsius. Okay. It's about, I don't know, 50, 50 Fahrenheit or so. That's okay. That's warm season for us. <laughs> it sounds good. That's really cold still, but it's uh, better but than... But I mean, it's not really the cold, it's not really the temperature, and I think get you, it's more the wind chill. How do you pronounce the name of the place we're going to? I've been trying to figure out how to pronounce it. Uh, it's uh, Thorlaugshub. One more time? Thorlaugshub. Thorlaugshub. Yeah. Almost. Thorla... Hep. Thorlaugs. Thorlaugs. Hep. 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 Thorlaugs Heft. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I mentioned to you, this is a, a way that's under threat of being de destroyed because of mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure and, uh, yeah, I guess, business mania. 
All right, so I did a little bit of research and I learned the town of Thorlop Sheft is facing a crisis that might end their iconic surf spot. And a lot of the locals in this community are super sad that the city wants to build a harbor slash landfill literally right in their surf spot. They could have built it on the other side of the harbor, but of course it's right on the surf spot. Thinking about the big picture for the people in town and uh, how special and unique this is for mm -hmm. that town as well. We really hope to see the see the light and, and help us debate this and stop this from happening. As of September 2024, the wave is still here, but they are starting on construction already. So if you guys want to make a change, I found this petition you guys can sign. I'll link it in the link in my bio. Let's save this wave together. Let's go save the wave. Save the wave. Yeah, I think it's about 30 liters. Oh yeah. This feels like kind of similar in shape to my other board, maybe a little bit more narrow. So you put fish as the meat in the right places, a little bit wider. But how many liters? This one's about 32, I do believe. I think oh, yeah. You can see this might here. actually feel pretty good. It looks this closer. This is a really good board. This might be closer that, that to my board. More, yeah. Dumpster diver is a known shape all over the world. What size is this? It's, I think, 6'1". If you flip it around, you can see it. 6'1". All right, then I would bring something a little bit bigger or more floaty. Oh, that's so sick. This is like a 6'3". Oh, this is three. such a cool board. 5'11", I think it's 32 liters. Oh, okay, yeah, this would be really fun. It's quite the yeah, like quite technical thin rails. Yeah, it is really thin, narrow, cheap. But it's probably easier for me to paddle. We have such a collection right now. <laughs> you guys can look at here. This wave is not super point. Is it pretty peaky, or you think it's more on the softer side? It uh, depends on the tides. Oh, okay. Depends on the swell. So every single swell that hits our shore is different. Oh really? Yeah, it's not so oh, not a southwest swell. It's just like what is this swell doing? Okay. So that's partly why Icelandic surf is so complicated. Makes sense. If this was easy, I wouldn't be doing this for work. That is true. Do. So I'll have uh, two boards for myself. And I have three. And you have three. And what about <laughs> Zane? <laughs> Let's see what board he's gonna get. Tell, I don't me, know about tell that. me this. What do you usually surf? What's the length of the board? He, <laughs> he <laughs> serves a six O foam board. Six O foam board. Yeah. <laughs> This board doesn't look like much, but this is pure magic. This is the most surfboard in the house for me and my, my guides. We always bring it on surf trips. And I caught some of the best waves of my life on this board. Yeah, maybe. Okay. This is a very forgiving shape. It, it kind of feels like uh, surfing almost a mid-length. It's keel fins, mm -hmm. so it's very fast in the water, paddles really fast. Like it's that. about 46 liters. Okay. Right. Yeah. Big soft top board. Yep, that works. This is a wave casting machine, it's pretty fun. We have now the quiver for Zane, now we have the quiver for me. Let's go now pick a wetsuit. So these are the 5 fours, our new 5 fours. We used to have 6 fours. I'm surfing nice. a 4 millimeter all year round. All year round? In winter I surf a 4 <laughs> millimeter, 4 four with a hook. This is a little different than California wow. with my what we, 2 millimeter wetsuit. What we, is that what we normally wear? Yeah, 2 millimeter. This is kind of crazy, I don't know if you guys can see, but it feels I like... Understand. It almost feels like foam, like foam on it. <coughs> Should be a, kind of like a 10 in other numbers, but I have one size down if you need that. Okay, maybe we can bring both. One These feel three. so warm. They're also like not super heavy, which I was not expecting. I like the logo, it's so cute. Luna Surf, I've never heard about it. It's a cool. small, small brand, and it's like made by surfers for surfers. And you said these are four millimeter boots? Yes. So do you think I am gonna get pounded today or is it like mild pounding? <laughs> Depends on the surfer. Oh, <laughs> he keeps saying that. Mm -hmm. okay. I've never surfed with you before, so. That's true. But no, like I said, this is an easy and really fun wave. Okay. So if a big set comes, you can just swim a little bit to the side. It's like a channel thing, so it just oh. passes you. Nice. Okay. Now, of course, I would be in the water enjoying the surf, and I'll always be make, definitely giving you tips where to sit and yeah. also for your own safety. Okay. But I can't cast the wave for you. you have to do it yourself. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm confident I can catch a wave. <laughs> so we're now going to get our car loaded up and head over to the beach. It's around 35 minute drive. And then we're gonna look at some waves and then go surfing. Oh my God, okay. What the fuck? The surf looks insane. Okay, you, know, you, know, you, know, you guys, we are now looking at the surf spot. It's kind of firing low key right there. It's so windy, but like there are some fun waves. And it's empty. Like that's why I'm shook. Like it's empty. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This point break, we're gonna serve later. And the reason why we're gonna wait till later is because the wind is currently a little cross shore, which is not good for serving, you want offshore winds. So we're actually gonna take my boyfriend Zane serving at a more chill, easier beach break down the street. So we'll do that for an hour or two, eat some food, come back, and then serve the point break. So just sit tight, guys. Keep on watching this video because I think we're gonna score 
hopefully some fun waves. Now we're gonna put on the hood. I'm gonna look like a seal. Oh, I look so silly, but I have to do this. It's so cold. This is the beach break. You guys can't tell, but it looks like there's there's a lot of waves. Not necessarily all of them are good. I do see a right corner, but I am goofy foot, so I prefer lefts, but I'm gonna take what I can get. Last sip of water and we're gonna hit the road. Getting drunk from seven to three. Over adoption, flesh like it's free. We're on a fast ride where monk is killing time on the machine. The water's really cold that every time I duck dive, it's so frozen. You don't even notice if it's hot or it's me. But somewhere deep in it's cut out like a mess so you just kill it. and eating a hot dog as a snack before my next session. Very Icelandic core. We're in a fucking what's in the grocery store, I'm dead. Mmm, <laughs> oh my god. There's like onions inside. Mm -hmm. That's really good. And I also have a chocolate milk. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good, right? Okay, so we just finished our first session and then we had a little snack. Now we're gonna serve our second session, which is basically the main session. And right now the waves are looking a little smaller. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit small. But I feel like, if anything, I'm gonna be able to not be as scared. The only thing is there's literal rocks that are like poking out of the water right as you surf. So hopefully I don't wreck this board. Huge shout out to Ingo from Arctic Surfers for taking me out on this epic day of surf. I am so stoked for you guys to see the footage because you're going to see in a few seconds how epic the surfing here is in Iceland. Yes, the water is freezing, but there's absolutely no crowds. Everyone is super polite and nice and the waves are epic. Check this out. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.